All right, for 140 of the closing. All right, <clears throat> zero. What answer does your team have for 140? Oh, let's go part B of what value of X makes the two sides equal. Like, what is X? What did, what did X solve for me? So, um, we'll go Daniel's team is heads, Sophia's team is tails. Sophia's team, where, Sophia, what did your, your team get? X equals negative two. X equals negative two. So, yo, hey, at this point, your teacher's teaching. And I think he might be slightly smarter than at least some of us. I'm sure y'all are smarter than me at certain things, but I think math might be my thing in here. What's the left side start with? 3x plus 2. What's the right side start with? x and a negative 2 or x minus 2. This can totally be solved. We can take an x off of both sides. We can subtract 2 from both sides. Making 2x, I'm not going to write down all the steps because at this point you should be comfortable with them. 2x equals negative 4, and then we divide to get x equals negative 2. So problem 2 is gone. <clears throat> and you guys stole it. So same points as like 4, and then somebody can come to the block, or the tower. And then that works because Daniel's team is next. So you guys went. So Daniel, give me a number. 820. 20? What is this unknown side length? You probably need to figure out the scale factor. I don't know if we have or not. Uh, nine, because Angel did an outer block. Uh, good thing it's up here. Good thing it's up here. Yeah, so now that you can see B. I went back and I fixed it, but it was after the copies already got made. So I would talk about the scale factor first, if I was you. Biggest trap door here is matching up the wrong sides of each other. I love that some people immediately drew down a sketch of the little guy. Shape B. <clears throat> yeah, it is this team. I forget who's called who, but it is this team's question. Oh, yeah, Lil Huggy is having a blast. Isn't that this team? I am just being hilarious. He said he was not having a blast, so I don't like writing false statements. It's like when you say 2 plus 2 equals 5. Cool. Alright, you guys almost ready? You, you actually don't. You just have to answer the question mark that I have up there. So if, if, if you can't see it right now. Now you should answer all of them because it's like your homework to get all of the questions done. But all you need right now is that question mark. So we ready for that? All right, moving on. Peyton, what is that length of the question mark side? It is eight feet. That is correct. It is eight feet. Good work. Send someone to the tower because he's having a blast. All right, now Sophia's team, except Sophia already made the steal. Vera, give, or sorry, Jay, give me a question. 
11. Combine these fractions. Combine these fractions. Nice work, Ava. Good job. So that's four and what were the others again? Five, so nine total. If you do correct question um, and an outer block, it is nine points. Because ten would be too easy. Why would I let you guys do math with ten when you could play with nine? I just want to point out that nobody commented on the perfect circle that I drew on the whiteboard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice try. I saw, oh. I saw you do it. You didn't think I freehanded that? No. no. I saw you do it. <laughs> Your little, like, dashes on the outside are in perfect circles, so I, I just, if they're like... No, I used this. Yeah. Well, actually, you used use another one. You guys know I've memorized five. Wait, is it? Five? 3.14159. This is five ball, right? It's just too much. You believe me for a second, bro. No, I knew it was on the back. Uh, we're going to go two minutes from the second hand at the top right now. you got two minutes to finish solving this one. This is Jay's team, but anybody could steal. Jay's team, but anybody could steal. He's like super old. I don't know how old he is. Probably. Well, the movies last over a span of a lot of years. I don't know how old he is. I haven't watched Star Wars in a while. I've been too busy, like, teaching 12-year-olds. He probably is. He probably, you're probably right. You guys are smarter than me about a lot of things. But this is my place where I get to be the smart one. Except I didn't bring enough water. I just haven't washed it and brought it back yet this week. I need to, I, I'm behind on a couple of things, braiding and dishes. And... <sighs> Luckily, I didn't mind everything. I got some. I am. I have three baskets of laundry in my room. Uh -oh. Remind me at extension, we got to talk about donut orders. Because I've got the duck page pulled up and I need people to write down what they want. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, 15 seconds. And I might have actually given you three minutes by accident. 10 seconds. Yeah, like when you minus, you're going lower. You're going more negative. All right, Vera's team, we ready? 
All right, Landon, what did you guys get as your answer? Yeah, I'll go ahead and let you save that one because the numbers are the more important part. This is a negative. This is a negative. And this could be called subtraction or it could be called negative. So all of these are negatives. What common denominator works here? 66. 66. So when I do that, this becomes 36, negative, of course, over 66. This becomes 44 over 66, and this becomes 55, sorry, that's a minus, 55 over 66, making the total that Landon said of negative 135 over 66. Send someone to the tower. Let's keep rolling. That was problem 11. Yep, and then block. Then you got to add the block points. All right, back to zeros team. Olive, give me a number. 12. Hey, so we're moving on. Unless you're the person pulling the block or doing the score up there, we're moving on. All have picked number 12. Yeah, so if you already did this last night, you can just talk with your team, confirm your answer, tell it to them. The pro It shows you up there. Yeah, multiplication is the top. I, okay, that's why I put it up there on the thing. At this point, we've done enough diamond problems. If you've actually put effort into them, you should know the pattern. Hey, at the end of class, we need to fix my desks, too. So at the end of class, we need to try to regroup into, like, the six groups that are normally here. No, unacceptable. We'll go 35 more seconds. I'm hearing words like the E word and the J word being thrown around. You just have to. When people say, oh, you just, it's the same as essentially saying, oh, that E. <laughs> 10 seconds. It literally says on it means $50 it means $50 it means All right uh, Mallory What is the product? What is the top number here? 3 and then, Macy, what is the number on the bottom here? The sum? Six and a half, or if you really like decimals, you can say 6.5. Questions? I'm worried that some of us are just having a good time and we're not using this to prepare for the test, but that's your decision. I'm having a good time doing math. Hey, there we go. Um, who's up next? Ava's team. Ava, give me a number. A Ava, where is Ava? Give me a number. <laughs> One. Getting ready for the test. This question is on the test. Four for the question, five for outer blocks, three for middle blocks. I don't know, who are you guys? Uh, I think they had to erase their team name, so I don't know. Something has happened with the points over here. 
And this key was not very close to the point of the scoreboard. Oh, sorry. It just, it's like, it naturally happened. People also made the group parallel with the wall, which I always have it angled in. Like, it's just funny what you guys naturally do. <laughs> So for what it's worth, if you take some time and do this correctly now, that's one problem from the test that you know how to do. If you don't care about what you're doing right now, you're just gonna stay exactly where you are and either know how to do it or don't know how to do it. But you have the opportunity to, with a team, talk through this problem that is on the test. You actually don't need the top paragraph. It is a distractor. It's just telling you B information. I will go ahead and do you a favor since you don't, excuse me, since you don't have this on your paper to highlight yourself, I will go ahead and do some highlighting up here. Total of 4,109 Bs. We're not talking about the queen. So we've got drones, workers, and nurses. Yep, seriously. Drones, workers, and nurses. Drones, workers, and nurses. How many of each type? No, we are not discussing the queen. Not discussing. I mean, okay, so you could say 4,110 if you want to count the queen, but we're not. This problem does not talk about the queen. Oh yeah, this one obviously looks faster. It's got racing strength. <laughs> but what if I can't watch them race against each other? What if they like drive in separate places and I have to make my prediction of which one's faster? Because then they can't catch each other. No. Let's go uh, 105 more seconds. So like almost two minutes, but. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Hmm? Nope, you should get whole number answers. Okay, we'll talk with your team. What I really care about, the number that we need to solve for, is how many drones we have. But once we have the drones, we should be able to solve for anything. Just from one side?
you would want to share in a show, sometimes that really helps instead of just saying things to show the work. seconds. Okay. This is Ava's team. How you guys doing? You have how many drones? <clears throat> well, Chloe, you better talk to your team. Your card is somewhere close to the top. Make sure it makes sense because you're going to have to show your work on the test. All right, here we go. Ava chose this question, went bold, and went uh, off the closure sheet. But of course, it's not Ava's to answer. Chloe, what did your group get for the number of drones? 508. 508 is correct. When? Hey, now I should be able to help you. If your team couldn't, I should be able to. When we set this up with drones, nurses, and workers, and when we take what they told us, 33 more nurses than drones, nurses have 33 more than the drones. So D plus 33. Workers. Pardon the interruption. For Charlotte, this is the police report to the main office. Charlotte, you can go speak to the main office. I'm going to talk as fast as possible. Workers have 12 more than six times the number of drones. But there's also D equals D, right? So when we set this up and we combine like terms, I'm jumping through some steps here because we've done this practice together. You guys presented problems to the whole class. We would have eight D plus the 12 and the 33 would give us 45 equals 4109. We would subtract 45 from both sides, and then we would divide by 8. If you're not comfortable with this, you're not taking your homework seriously. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. Someone needs to be honest with you. Some of you aren't being honest with yourself or your parents, and you're getting caught. And, like, not knowing what you're doing is part of getting caught. That's, like, a natural consequence. If I lie about being able to like ride a horse and I go to a camp where I'm supposed to teach people how to ride horses, I'm going to get caught, right? Don't lie. It doesn't work well. D is 508. We're moving on. That's question one. Send somebody to the tower. <laughs> if somebody else wants to go, you got to give other people the chance. Uh, two of the three teams this morning knocked it over, so you guys are doing better than them, at least. Angel, give me a question. 18. That's a highlighter. A rectangle has a perimeter of 30 inches. Its length is one less than three times its width. What are the length and width? I don't know. I didn't. Center. Safe. So that'd be eight. Uh, no, sorry. Seven points total. So four and three. So seven points gained. It's normally my strategy, but normal Jenga doesn't care if you do outside, like middles or outsides. So.
nice. Yeah, like, have you solved this problem? I mean, you might have. You might have done it for one of us, but if not, we should probably do that. Should be whole numbers, yep. <clears throat> this is a bit easier to turn into expressions. When they say length is, right, that's pretty straightforward to turn the L into it. Length is. And perimeter is width plus width plus length plus length. Yeah, you got a whole team of help right there. Yep, the width and the length should both be whole numbers. Drawing a picture helps sometimes. So I draw a picture of a rectangle. And I've got length, length, width, and width, even though we don't normally label on the insides. We've got width and width and length and length. So we don't just have length and width once. Remember that we have length and width twice. All right, whose question was this? Angel chose this. How you guys doing? Getting there? 
about ready? Everyone ready though? Make sure your whole team is. <clears throat> All right, because we only got like five minutes left. Lucy, can you tell us what our length and widths would be here? Check with your team really fast. You have two seconds. Because they got half of them already. I'll, I'll let them try. Eleven. Eleven. Guys, L should equal... One less than three times the width. But I think the trap door a lot of us fell into. Sorry, that's a W. I know I'm writing with like the fat pen. There are two lengths and two widths. So automatically down here, I've got two W's. But then I've also got the three W minus one twice. So three W minus one for the first width. And another 3W minus 1 for the second, sorry, length. I said width, I meant length. So in total, I have 8W minus 2 equals 30. And then we solve it from there, getting that W is 4. And we can plug it back in to solve for the length. Again, if you need more help on these problems, you need to practice seriously. With coming to class and trying to copy down answers and think that you're being sneaky. Not my first day, guys. 18 is gone. 11. Send somebody up. And Macy, give me a number. Five. Simplify this expression. Mallory, you know Avery's on a different team, right? I don't know why you're shouting to Avery, but you know I don't know. Mallory's trying to get your attention, but you guys are on different teams. You take the lead by majority? I don't know what that means. What would be a common denominator to use between 8, 6, and 3? You could use a much smaller one. 24 could work and keep your numbers a lot less big. Hey, 
they're released early. Don't know why, but apparently we're moving. We're switching class. They, I don't know who released early, but kids are moving. We're, we're really two minutes early, but <clears throat> this was if you got your answer. Negative 15 24ths. Or negative 5 over 8. You are correct. Oh, maybe you put it away in the bin. So now you got to put it away. So set your stuff down. Set your stuff down. Put it away. And then you got to go straight to Howard's and check in. None of this like using me as an excuse.